Uh, thank you very much, ma'am, for kind introduction. And I would really uh, be thankful to organizing a team of Diabetes India 2023, especially Dr. Manoj Chawla, sir, uh, Dr. Bharat Sabu, Dr. Sunil M. Jain, sir, for giving me this talk, which is quite of my interest. And it is about preconception care in young type 2 diabetic patient. So, preconception care is more important than even gestational diabetes. This is what I want to convey in this my message. So why it is that important? The first slide that I'm going to show is that in most of our type 2 diabetic patient, you might have heard one or other day, Sir, galti se ho gaya. When they come up with HB1C of 8.5, 10, 11, we have seen even some of the type 1 diabetic patient having HB1C of 11, 12, and they say us that they already have conceived. And this is what the problem is. But we are going to talk about type 2 diabetes specifically today. And we have seen commonly, Sir, galti se ho gaya. When they are referred from gynecologist, it is now our call whether we want to continue pregnancy or not. Though it is not our expertise, we have to decide, right? So, we know this is not the new slide. It is about diabetes, maternal and fetal risk. We know mainly spontaneous abortion, which is quite common in type 2 diabetic pregnancy. We know that in pure gestational diabetic cases where uh, mostly those patients or ladies are diagnosed after 24, 26 or 28 weeks, they don't have more chance of spontaneous abortion. Right, ma'am? So, uh, fetal anomalies, preeclampsia, fetal demise, macrosomia, neonatal hypoglycemia, hyperbilirubinemia and neonatal respiratory distress syndrome. These are also... Uh, related to hyperglycemia during pregnancy for maternal and fetal. But the bigger problem in those offspring who are born to a pregnant lady who are diabetic or type 2 diabetic, they have higher chances of obesity, hypertension, type 2 diabetes. But few of other literature also suggest that gestational diabetes history and glucose tolerance after pregnancy associated with coronary artery calcium in women during midlife. This is the Cardia study which was published in 2021. And it said that women without previous gestational diabetes showed a graded increase in the risk of coronary artery calcium associated with worsening glucose tolerance. So, those ladies who had gestational diabetes has higher chances of all kind of metabolic disorder as well as cardiovascular problems. So when should we uh, screen or when should we ask the patient to control their blood sugar, to control all other metabolic profile? As this slide shows that preconception counseling should be prior to uh, prior to uh, at least six months or one year. As we all know the story of Abu Abhimanyu, you might be aware of the story of Abhimanyu and Abhimanyu learned that to break six barriers during uh, when he was in the womb of, of his mother. But the seventh barrier he could not learn and this is why he, he died. But the moral of the story is that in, in our uh, old uh, Hindu uh, ancient times, it is learned from those stories that, yes, everything what you learn is from uh, the womb and the environment that you provide to the baby is going to actually reflect during his lifetime. And this is why uh, we, we nowadays more focus on Garbha Sanskar and we have special classes of Garbha Sanskar you all might be doing regularly in your patients. So, and to achieve diabetes free generation, we should focus on the fetus for the future. This is said by legendary Dr. Professor V. Seshiya, sir, who is the founder of Dipsy. 
and and this is beautifully uh, uh, said by him that we have to focus on the fetus for the future and for that preconceptional care is more important so pre existing diabetes in pregnancy if we see you can see here even in comparison to type 1 diabetes whether it is major congenital malformation till birth neonatal mortality or perinatal mortality everything is higher in type 2 diabetic patient even in comparison to type 1 diabetes when a lady gets pregnant with diabetes so fortunately with organized management and strict uh, glucose control a healthy pregnancy is now achievable as we have many technological tool we have many other things uh, the newer insulin which exactly mimic like uh, a physiological insulin so healthy pregnancy is now achievable and today it's all about achieving tight glycemic control over blood sugar that mimic those of non diabetic this ensures a healthy baby so when a well begin it is almost half done starting at puberty and continuing in all women with diabetes and reproductive potential and preconceptional counseling should be incorporated into routine diabetes care so this uh, this is what diabetes care 2022 has published that any lady with the uh, age of reproductional age then ideally we should counsel them that at least if she is diabetic then try to achieve her glycemic control of hb1c less than 7 per, uh, 7% as soon as possible as we know that galti se ho gaya can be there if hb1c is not uh, 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 at our target then there could be complications so family planning should be discussed and effective contraceptive contraception should be prescribed and used until women's treatment regimen and hb1c are optimized for pregnancy so what should be the goal preconceptional counseling should be address the importance of achieving glycemic uh, level as close to normal as, as safely possible nowadays with the molecules like glp1 receptor agonist sglt2 inhibitors metformin pioglitazone these molecules they do not cause apparently no hypoglycemia and and we can achieve hb1c goal of less than 6.5 or some of the patient even we can try for hb1c less than 6% and we should try to achieve this strict glycemic control which can be beneficial in future for the baby so to reduce the risk of congenital anomalies preeclampsia macrosomia preterm birth and other complications so preconceptional care which uh, for women with pre existing diabetes who are planning a pregnancy should be ideally be managed uh, beginning in preconception in a multidisciplinary clinic including diabetologist or endocrinologist maternal fetal uh, medicine uh, medicine specialist registered dietitian nutritionist and diabetes care and education specialist when it is available so checklist for preconception care for women with diabetes where pregnancy a pre pregnancy counseling we should educate and obtain maximum cooperation from both partners and advise and try to attain of ideal body weight prior to conception reduction of body weight is the most important part in type 2 diabetic patient especially in our pre conceptional uh, phase when they come for the counseling to so obtain optimum diabetic control before conception as i already told we should try to achieve hb1c less than 6.5 but if it is possible try to achieve 6% which is quite a possible nowadays so associated it is associated with lowest risk of congenital anomaly and preeclampsia and preterm birth so also you should not forget about a thyroid function test where most of our type 2 diabetic patient if they are hypothyroid patient and and we try to achieve 
then uh, their TSH between 1.5 to 2.5. This is quite a strict number, but try to achieve this even before conception. Uh, check uh, immune status against uh, rubella IgG. Multidisciplinary approach should be encouraged with obstetrician, endocrinologist, diabetologist, nutritionist, and diabetes educator. If the lady is, uh, with type 2 diabetes on oral hypoglycemic agent, it is ideal to switch over to insulin if pregnancy is planned. But sometimes it takes a longer time. So at least you should put those patients on basal insulin and the drugs which do not cause hypoglycemia like DPP-4, GLP-1 or SGLT-2 can be started. But they should be explained that if you are really planning pregnancy and uh, and, and uh, regularly checking for it and, and uh, visiting your obstetrician, then you should be on basal bolus therapy of insulin only. So, preconception care most of the women with pre existing diabetes will need to be on a basal bolus insulin protocol in pregnancy. Premix insulin, I do not appreciate this uh, therapy, and, and most of our colleagues who are sitting here who are expert in diabetes. They also do not prescribe premix insulin in uh, uh, in our uh, pregnant ladies. So premix insulin regimen, while convenient, cannot be offered flexibility for titration of insulin and doses as the pregnancy progresses. So as this classification shows, which insulin you can use during this preconceptional care, you can use any kind of insulin during preconceptional care, but ideally you should put those patients on the insulin which are approved during pregnancy. So, for basal insulin, we have only two options which are approved. Mainly, it is uh, Detimir and Degludec. NPH is approved during pregnancy, but now when we have available newer generation of insulin, we should ideally uh, try to use this. Uh, premix insulin not at all uh, should be uh, advised to our patient. Uh, prandial insulin, here the list is as part list pro regular human insulin. Glulysin, glulysin is not approved in pregnancy, so ideally we should not put them on. But Fiasp is uh, new in, in the line, so we can use it. So basal bolus insulin should be uh, prescribed. At least basal insulin should be started if uh, pregnancy is uh, planned. Preconception care where optimized control of blood pressure with pregnancy. Uh, safe antihypertensive agents are methyl dopa, labetolol, and nifedipine, where mostly in our practice we use uh, labetolol and nifedipine. Uh, and stop, don't forget to stop ACE, ARB, and thiazide diuretic, stop statins, uh, dilated fundus examination. That also we should not forget to perform. And photocoagulation offered in the lady with diabetes is having severe NPDR or peripheral diabetic retinopathy. So, role of uh, preconception and interpregnancy counseling care, where goals of preconception care for individuals with pre-gestational diabetes, which includes patient education, this is the most important thing and you should convey them clearly that if you are uh, planning for pregnancy, try to achieve best glycemic control with uh, 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 best uh, medical nutrition therapy, insulin and metformin. So, optimize glycemic control, establish health lifestyle uh, and a diabetes management plan should be explained properly. You can, uh, you can explain priorly about structured uh, self-monitoring of blood glucose as well as continuous glucose monitoring or if patient is afford, af uh, can afford then you should offer insulin pump as well in type 2 diabetic patient uh, who is planning for pregnancy. So, insulin requirement during pregnancy is around 0 0.7 to 0 0.8. But if you are starting with basal insulin only during preconceptional uh, care, then you should put them uh, those patients on 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 unit per kg body weight. This is what commonly observed and most of the data suggests that basal insulin requirement in, in, in those patients uh, is uh, around 0 0.4 unit per kg body weight. 
so insulin requirements usually fall during the first trimester of pregnancy and gradually they increase uh, thereafter but in in type 1 diabetic patient what we have observed usually the requirement of insulin is around 1 unit per kg body weight so pregnant women with prior type 2 diabetes may require much higher doses in comparison to pure gestational diabetic cases in pure gestational diabetic cases the total requirement of insulin is around 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 unit per kg body weight but during pregnancy uh, for type 2 diabetic patients they require around 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 unit per kg body weight so basal bolus therapy this is usually we uh, 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 how we treat and we uh, uh, divide the basal bolus doses of 50 50 but as the pregnancy progresses Usually, pregnancy is the state of postprandial hyperglycemia, and you require more percentage of uh, uh, pre lunch, pre breakfast, and uh, pre dinner insulin on higher doses. So, with this, I'll summarize that preconception plans should include nutrition and medication plan to achieve glycemic target prior to conception, including appropriate implementation of. Uh, monitoring continuous glucose monitoring and pump uh, technology contraceptive plan to prevent pregnancy until glycemic target are achieved should be explained well and management plan for general health gynecologic concerns comorbid condition or complication if present including hypertension nephropathy retinopathy rh incompatibility and thyroid dysfunction along with anemia with this I would like to be thankful to everyone for patient listening. Thank you again.